had no idea that October was going to be so incredibly fruitful for me. So, um, I have here a Stella fig that just fell off. I don't know if it's ripe. That bottom looks like it's, uh, looks a little ugly. That's what it looks like. But, you know, we're going to try it out anyways. Right, fig. This one is called Antonio Black. I don't think I had this fig in the best condition um, for ripe figs, but um, here it is, you know. It didn't put on a whole lot of growth this year, and uh, I probably need to up-pot it. You can see here, there's not a lot of new growth on that branch. Um, so, we're going to taste this guy. It's not really that black. It's kind of more of a purple green. Maybe we'll call this Antonio Purple Green. <laughs> Another fig, this one is an LSU O'Rourke. I've already picked off a couple figs off of this tree. And I'm trying to do this quickly because I'm running low on light. All right, so let's, let's uh, <coughs> excuse me, get into the greenhouse. I actually had a ripe bass's favorite off of this, this little tiny tree right here. Um, there's one more on here that's not gonna ripen. The other one actually fell off of the tree. Um, it was actually pretty good. Uh, okay, so I have another Dio Snegra here that I'm going to pull off. We just did a review on this guy. That looks like it's got a little mold growing out of it. Might be nasty, might be okay, but I'm going to cut it and try it anyways. Wait a minute. How did you know I was out here? Do you know we're about to eat figs? Huh, Mickey Mouse? Where are you going? Snuck up on me. Hey! Hey! Nolan! Nolan, you want to help Daddy find some figs? Yeah? Okay. Come on. Your feet hurt? You gotta, you gotta wear shoes out here. The fig. Can you put it on the chair? Don't eat it, okay? It's not ready yet. Go put it on the chair. Thank you. Okay, let's get the next one. Here, you can eat this one. Yeah. Mmm. Ooh, it's a good bite. Yummy. Okay, here we go. That's is another fig. This one is a Cold de Dom Noir. I am actually pretty pretty ecstatic right now to be able to get some ripe Cold de Dom Noirs. I had no idea and I was thinking, you know, there's no chance of getting any kind of Cold de Doms that are ripe in here in the Seattle area. But look at this. Beautiful Cold de Dom Noir. Even has some nice ribbing going on um, on that fig. I still have a few here that might actually ripen. So let's get this guy. The black Madeira on here is giving just a little bit. It's not ready yet, but we have sunshine all week. So I might be able to get a ripe fig off of this thing. Um, I'm gonna remove this cluster here because I know it's not going to ripen. And I'm gonna give that one fig all the chance possible to ripen with a, with the uh, next few days being sunny. All right, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and pick this uh, border salt negra. This is the first time that uh, I've gotten fruit from this particular uh, variety, so I'm excited to try this. Okay, here we go. This is truly another October fig fest because I've got um, I've got seven varieties actually right here. There's a couple that we've already done a review on. This is Socorro Black, Dios Negro just did the other day. And let's go ahead and name off the ones that we've got on the table. Border Salt Negra. 
This is supposed to be a Stella. Um, this one is a Coldy Dom Noir. Look how beautiful that is. LSU O'Rourke. And uh, Antonio Black. All right, let's go ahead and weigh these guys. We've got a lot of figs to go through today. Not a whole lot of sunshine to be able to do all these slowly, so I got to do this all in one take. Uh, this is the LSU O'Rourke, 13.1 grams. Antonio Black. This is 23.9 grams. This one called the Stella. I am thinking it's a Stella. 40.6. Beautiful Colde Dom Noir right here. 52.5. Border Salt Negra. 55.8. Okay, let's do a little chefing. Cut these guys open. Getting rid of that moldy part on this fig. This is the Dios Negra. And, um,. We're gonna try this again today. It's coral black. Border salt negra. Okay, so these are the new things that I'm cutting into. This is the border salt negra. Okay. This is clearly not a it looks like it's half aborted. Half aborted Stella. Eh. Disappointing. LSU O'Rourke. This one doesn't look like it's ripe at all, actually. It is, it's got an interesting shape to it. Very different from uh, a lot of other figs I've seen. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at this guy. This is the Col de Dom Noir. Look at that gelatinous beauty. Oh my god. That is... That looks like strawberry, raspberry, everything berry jam all together. Look how rich that looks. Antonio Black. Hmm. Interesting. Not as red as I thought it was going to be, but it's uh, got that kind of more orangey amber color to it, to the Antonio Black. Okay, here we go. I've got them all sliced up. Let's go ahead and give these guys a try. And I want to give this Dios Negra another try. Sometimes, you know, it's hard to judge a fig by just one fig. Because, one, you know, it might not have ripened properly. Or, uh, it's just different. I mean, sometimes you there's two different figs on one branch. And they can have two different completely tastes to them. So, uh, I want to give this guy another try. Mmm. That was actually excellent. Even better than the last one. That's the Dios Negra. Very syrupy. Decent sweetness. A little bit of seed crunch behind it. And it's, uh, it's got that honey berry type of flavor to it. Um, so Coral Black is really hit or miss. I haven't had one that looks completely ripe. Mmm. That's actually not even good. That one's not completely right. We'll let that one go. So anyways, let's start here with our featured figs of the day. This one is supposed to be the Stella. And uh, doesn't look that good to me. But I'm going to try it anyways. Huh? Yeah, I'm eating figs. How you know I'm here? You want one too? Why don't you have a seat? Okay? I'll give you a fig. Sit down. Thank you. You can have this Dios Negra. You want it? Mm hmm. Bom, bom, bom. You don't want it? Say what? Okay, so going back to this, uh, this unripened Stella. 
<sighs> I don't even want to give it a review because I know Stella is supposed to be like Dalmati and um, this thing is just not properly ripe and it wouldn't even be fair to give it a score. Uh, let's go ahead and try. Hey! What? I thought you didn't want any. Okay, you can have that guy. Let's try this LSU O'Rourke. Oh yeah, it's an airplane. Okay, LSU O'Rourke. Oh. No sweetness whatsoever. But this thing is not properly ripened. I'll give it a score. Actually, I've already given it a score earlier this year. I really just wanted to do one on video. And it was better, so let's uh, let's give it a score from the last time I tasted it instead of this time. Okay, uh, moving on to the Antonio Black. We got jacked just a minute ago. No one came by, took the full fig. This guy looks pretty good. Soft, syrupy, and uh, I don't know. I, I think it might be different from those you know, Chicago Hardy types. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is surprisingly good. Very rich, syrupy, sweet. Definitely a honey flavored fig, actually, more than a berry. Kind of a cross, kind of more of a honey berry flavored fig. I like it. I will keep it. Antonio Black, that's a good fig. Moving over this guy. This is the Border Salt Negra. Daddy, Daddy, I love this. Whoa. What's going on there? Are you going to eat it? Okay. Negra, let's, let's give this guy a try. Mmm. That's not bad. It's not overly sweet. It's a big bite. And it's somewhat juicy. Uh, I probably could have used a little bit more time to, to ripen. It's hard to put a finger on the flavor because it, it has a little bit of that green taste to it, which means it's not fully ripened at the top. But, uh, it's definitely not rich. It's not syrupy. <laughs> it's not overly sweet. It's just an okay fig. Um, I thought the Antonio Black blows it away in terms of its its flavor and its sugar more so than this Border Salt Negra. Uh, so that, that was okay. And I, I think it'll get better. But for this one, I'll give it a score. It's very, very average. Moving on to what looks like the best fig of the day. This is the Col de Dame Noir with its beautiful raspberry jam colored pulp here. You could probably spread this on toast. Oh my god. I know then. Oh my goodness. That has got to be one of the best figs I've tasted this season so far. It's going to make it onto the top 10 for sure. I get that one. Here, Nolan, try this one. Mmm. Ah. How do you like it? How do you like it? Hey, I need a review. You can't just eat and leave. You like it? Bye. Mmm. That is so rich, so sweet, so flavorful. That taste is just lingers, and it's so good. This Coldy Domino War is beautiful. So it's got brains and bronze because it's uh, it looks good and it tastes good. Outright winner for the day. Um, this one I think. Better than Berger Sauté Grise, better than Socorro Black, better than the Côte d'Anne Blanc, better than that uh, 
I guess I, almost a Genovese Nero unknown that I had the other day. And uh, better than Tacoma Violet. This fig is amazing. Um, I need another bite. I think it might be better than the uh, the white Madeira that I had yesterday too. Wow, this is really good. Sorry, Nolan, gonna have to eat the rest of this. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate you taking the time to check out my big reviews. <sighs> I think I'm there. Maybe one or two more varieties before the season's over. Then I'll post my top ten figs for the year. That guy will go on there for sure. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.